we will understand installation of geo server and publishing basic data so we will open internet explorer and we will type down download geo server so as soon as we type down we'll get the first link download geo server let us click on that so it will take us to a web page from where we can download geo server right now click on documentation so we will see the various documentation we'll click on user manual that will take us to the help how to install the software so i'm clicking on installation and then windows binary because i am having a windows system the free requisite is java so i have to install java 8 or 11 so i'm clicking on the link that is provided in the uh, website so uh, it is opening a pre-built open jdk binary files for installation so i'm selecting jdk 11 and hotspot and clicking on latest release for installation downloading so it has downloaded the file i'm simply double clicking on it and following the basic step so selecting the agreement and then next i am selecting the option to create a java home variable and next and then is install so it is a very simple installation process and uh, by doing this uh, it will quickly install jdk software in my computer so i'll click finish so it is very simple installation now once this prerequisite is done then i'll go to download geo server software so uh, i have clicked on the option and it has opened a, a latest stable version i am clicking on that so it will take me to this package i am selecting platform independent binary and then it will take me to the page from where it will start downloading so it has taken me to the so source forge page and it has downloaded the software it will uh, be placed on my default download directory so in my case uh, here it is it is in d download folder so i am double clicking download it is downloaded as a zip file so i'll right click and use uh, software for unzipping the file so here i am unzipping the file So my file will be unzipped and it will be placed in the folder. So various supporting files are placed inside this folder. Now to keep the folder name simpler, I'll rename it to geo server. So I'll remove uh, additional characters. Now I have what I have to do is copy this geo server folder and place it inside the C drive. It is not compulsory to place it in the C drive. Uh, I am following this practice uh, so that by chance I don't delete it. So I am pasting this uh, geo server folder here. Now I have to create two variables. One is geo server home. That is the folder where I have installed the geo server software or simply I have copied the geo server software. So right now I have copied in C drive geo server folder. So I'm selecting that and I'll provide this as a geo server home variable. I'm clicking OK. Next variable I have to create is geo server data directory. So I'm selecting the name from here so that I don't make uh, typing mistakes. So copying from here and then creating a new variable and the path that I have to select is inside the geo server directory data directory folder so I am copying it from here and then pasting so this is a very simple installation process that's it required for installation now I am going to bin folder and I am double clicking startup.bat file to start the geo server uh, services which will keep running in the background so it is doing lot of stuff to start the service at the end what i'll see a started message so geo server services has been started 
now i will click on the internet explorer and type down http colon double slash localhost colon 8080 geo server 8080 is the default port where geo server application will be installed we can change this port as per our requirement so i have typed down this url and it will open uh, admin page default user is admin and password is geo server so i'm keeping it as it is and clicking login so it is showing me the default uh, uh, structure layers workspaces so all default layers are created with the demo data that is available with the geo server installation we can also view the data so i will click on the layer preview so that uh, it will show me all the data which has been published so i can select any of the layer uh, here i am selecting states layer and i'll click open layers so it will show me that data into the open layers platform open layer is a platform which allow me to visualize the data here i can perform basic zoom in and zoom out operations because these are the limited functionality provided in this uh, uh, sample uh, application i can click on any of the polygon and it is showing me the uh, attribute details so i can click somewhere and it will show me the detail so here these are the simple steps to install geo server in our next video we will see how to add uh, many more functionalities and different uh, styling to the layers so uh, subscribe to our channel so that you can receive our upcoming videos thank you